As we enter the evening, Lord, we come before you seeking your truth. Hear these words of scripture from the Gospel of Matthew. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup so that the outside also may become clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. In this passage, Jesus declares a litany of warnings for the scribes and the Pharisees. He denounces them for their abuse of power and their hypocrisy. Those who are leaders should do everything in their power to set an example for people looking to them for guidance. Jesus wants those who have religious authority to be faithful in their own lives. He compares them to whitewashed tombs, which may look perfect on the outside, but conceal what lies within. We often hear people say that Christians should practice what they preach or walk the talk. There is no room for hypocrisy in the church. It's not that we have to be perfect 100% of the time, but we should always be striving to be as faithful as we can be. Our priorities should align with the prophet Micah's advice. He has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? Jesus accuses the Pharisees of neglecting justice, being self-indulgent, and exalting themselves. He reminds them that cleanliness starts from within.
Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of uncleanness. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Would you pray with me? Oh God, we pray that you will search our hearts and guide us to what is right in your eyes. We pray that day by day we will move closer to holiness of heart and purity of spirit. Help us to have good intentions and to be people of unselfish action. As we make every effort to follow the example of Christ, we call out to you, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 